Mr. Speaker and members, I want to start by uh, saying thank you to um, all those who have committed themselves to uh, bringing about marriage equality, especially uh, Representative Clark and uh, Senator Dibble, uh, who have spoken out from their hearts, I believe out of a strong desire to live in, in accordance with their values. I begin by saying that I respect the sanctity of marriage and what it means to various groups and individuals. In Ojibwe culture, we believe that sharing a life with another is a sacred responsibility. Individual couples may get married in the Medewin Lodge by a pipe ceremony that involves lighting a small fire, feeding each other, sharing water, and sharing the pipe. This Ojibwe ceremony has existed since time immemorial, and it will continue regardless of what we decide here today. This bill is about marriage equality under the law. I have always resisted the idea that uh, minority groups, including the LGBT community, need to be included within the existing legal, political, and social frameworks, rather than changing such frameworks for themselves. In other words, I object to the notion of equality with a dominant group. Therefore, my hope is that marriage equality will no longer be divine, defined solely on the terms of heterosexuals because it promotes assimilation as a way to gain legal rights rather than representing a challenge to the values that predominate in the, in the dominant culture. Of course, equality with those who currently enjoy the privilege to marry, to marry is entirely appropriate when it eliminates the extreme hardships of unequal treatment or to achieve particular goals as this bill does, but it's important to me how we frame marriage equality. I realize my discussion of equality and privilege is far beyond the scope of this bill, so I will tell you why I support this bill. I support this bill because it recognizes that marriage is dynamic and that marriage is a human good with certain inherent requirements that the state does not create but should recognize and support in all forms. I believe this is the first step in improving the ways in which members of the LGBT community are represented and treated. Thank you.